Hi, my name is Brad Jersak. Welcome back to our series on listening prayer. Up to now, we've been talking about the different ways that God speaks to you. We've been looking at the promises in God's word that say that under the new covenant, you as a child of God get to hear God. And we've talked about some of the many ways that you already hear him well, and you hear him often. Jesus is very generous with his voice. He has much to get off his chest to you. So many good things to say, so many blessings, so many promises. He'll never run out. Having said that, we need to take some time looking at discernment. Because as you know, even if God is one of the voices in your heart and your mind, he's not the only one. There are competing voices. We need to take time discerning God's voice from those other voices. And the good news is that Jesus is very confident about that. And he says that you will learn to recognize his voice just like sheep recognize the voice of their shepherd. And the enemy's voice won't be familiar to you. In fact, when you hear it, Jesus promises that we will recognize that and will run away from it. One surprising thing that we should note from the Gospels is that in the parable of the sower and the seed, Jesus is more focused on making sure we don't lose the good seed than making sure we keep the bad seed out. Now when that seed comes in, how will we know that it's his and not some other strange voice? He gives us three broad categories that we call the three-legged stool for confirmation. First, if you've heard a word from the Lord, then the written word of God should confirm it, especially the Gospels, the red letters of Jesus. If you hear something in your heart you believe is the voice of Jesus, it will always align to the voice of Jesus in the Gospels. The second leg of the stool, or the second confirmation we're looking for, is the voice of the body of Christ. If something that I hear does not line up with what God has taught his church through the centuries, and what God is teaching your church, if it honors the Lordship of Jesus, listens to him, and welcomes his voice, then we ought to take note. It's a red flag for me if I'm afraid to share what I'm hearing with my home group or my pastor, my leadership team. It makes me wonder if I'm really hearing right. When in doubt, I always check it with the body of Christ. The third confirmation I look for, or the third leg of the stool, is the voice of the Holy Spirit. If you're hearing a message that you believe is from the Lord, the Holy Spirit will confirm it inside with a solid yes. He will give you peace. He will give you joy. Faith will rise up to respond to this word. And having said that, we also need to act on the word and see if the fruit of the Spirit appears. If what I'm hearing produces righteousness, joy, and peace in the fellowship of believers, if it leads to love and joy and peace of the Holy Spirit in my relationships, then I can be pretty confident that I'm hearing from the Lord. So let's review our three legs of the stool. Does the written word confirm it? Does the body of Christ confirm it? And does the Holy Spirit confirm it in your hearts? When all three are in agreement, I can be quite confident that I've heard from the Lord. Now let's add to that. The words I hear should call me to faith. They should call me to love. And they should call me to truth. That's three more confirmations that I'm listening for. If we're speaking the truth in love by the power of the Holy Spirit, perhaps God is the source of that. Some folks fancy themselves as prophets and they say that they speak on behalf of God, but if it's full of fear, if it's devoid of love, we ought to take pause because the voice of Jesus as witnessed in the Gospels always points to this idea of loving God, loving neighbor, and loving our enemies. So when I'm listening to the Lord, I would expect to hear the truth in love and be able to articulate it to others. That's 1 Corinthians 14. Paul recognizes the prophetic voice as the voice that strengthens, comforts, and encourages the body. That's quite a list of confirmations already. We've got the three-legged stool of the Word, the body, and the Spirit. We've got the voice of Jesus in our hearts that needs to align to the voice of Jesus in the Gospels. We've got this idea of speaking the truth in love and speaking a word that will strengthen, comfort, and encourage the body. I feel like if we stay in those parameters with this all-generous voice of the Holy Spirit, we're going to do a lot of good. We're going to build up the body. We're going to be a blessing to our church and to our friends. Even these few practices in discernment will really get you going. Bless you, and we'll see you next time.